and we have with us uh, Vivek Chan Segal, the chairman uh, at uh, Samvardhana Madhusan International Limited joining in on the show right now. Uh, Vivek, hi, great to have you on the show once again. Uh, Vivek, you don't give order book data quarterly. If you could just share with us how it's been in the share of EVs in the overall order book, has that increased? If you could give us any idea on that front. Yeah, I think uh, uh, it's there in our statement. The EV segment is uh, going strong and our order book also is uh, looking up over there. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's very little time uh, to try and accumulate everything and put it in perspective. So we don't want to give a wrong number up out in the front. But generally, yes, the numbers are up and uh, electric vehicle uh, share of percentage business is increasing in our order book. Yeah. You know, your margins across businesses are at lows currently. Uh, when do we see a recovery? Because now even commodity prices have cooled off and energy prices have also sort of, you know, um, remain stable at least sequentially. So, yes, I think your observation is correct. Uh, I think there are uh, multiple challenges that are happening at the moment. One, the demand is very strong and robust. Uh, we are seeing uh, that uh, the the demand is also changing on a day-to-day -day basis. So it keeps us on our toes. And uh, also the challenge is very high because the recovery and a lot of things is affected by multiple challenges like, for example, currencies are moving in, the, in different directions. Uh, there are logistic challenges. There are strikes in ports and all that. And I think the good news is that the customer is willing to support you. He is willing to do that, but he needs proof. So we have to then accumulate the proof and put it together. So we, we are not taking anything unless the money is already in the bank with us. So what we have done is we have put what the factual situation is. We've taken that. But I think coming one month, two months, or three, uh, maybe a quarter at the max, by the time the uh, money will come in, it would all come into the bottom line. So that's the kind of current situation that is there. So uh, we take it uh, with a pinch of salt, but I think that's the right thing to do. Right. So are you uh, saying that you're still going to be negotiating with clients when that finalizes? And, you know, can your margins really improve going forward? I'd say the bottom line would be better. We don't guide on margins anyway. So what we are saying is it's work in progress. You know, we need to do a lot to make the companies understand what extra costs that are going up and all that. And that takes time. So we are thinking within the next month, two months, maybe one quarter, uh, the bottom line will improve even for the past uh, quarter. Earlier, you had mentioned that the chip situation would ease by September 2022 or maybe in the December 2022 quarter. But uh, given the China's restriction on Taiwan, how do you see this impacting the overall shortage? So I, I don't think we can correlate it exactly with any country's actions on another country. Uh, definitely, um, uh, where those chips of automotive companies are being made, uh, I don't think it's all being made in the country that you're talking about. But globally, the chips are being made in different parts. So uh, let's see. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's something that we have to see. But I think the car makers have enough uh, time to try and resolve this particular issue. We are always hoping that it, it would be resolved very soon. Uh, and then the numbers, the real numbers, the A, A segment, B segment cars would really grow because then the chips are available for them. And I think my, my, my guess is still that I maintain September is going to do very well after that. Any target on the debt front? Where is uh, that uh, it would be by the end of this financial year? <laughs> I like it debt free. But uh, I, I think um, uh, we have a lot of long term um, uh, debt with us. So that's very well, very, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, competitively priced. Uh, but definitely we would like uh, once the uh, um, reco uh, recovery starts to happen with the customers, all that money will be there to reduce our debt. Uh, but I would not be in a position to give you a number. 
Consolidated revenue has improved constantly across all parameters. This is despite supply side issues. So when the issues get resolved, what is the kind of revenue ramp up that you're looking at? Well, this is one of the largest or the uh, highest uh, number that we have done. Uh, uh, even pre-COVID, we've, we've done even better than that. So uh, as we believe that the coming quarters, you will see betterment of the revenues in the top vis-a-vis uh, year-on-year numbers. And I think uh, um, uh, it actually proves the point that the demand for cars is very robust and it's global. I think if you take the certain things that have happened in this last quarter, like the flooding in uh, South Africa and so many problems that have happened globally. So I think if you take all that in cognizance, this is a record, this thing where we have actually broken the uh, uh, top line uh, as the highest for Samuel ever, including MSWR. Thanks so much, sir, for taking our time for us. Let's go.